Hello, Territory here with another Clash Royale video, and it's been a while since I've played, and so I thought, let's make another one. Um, I'm not sure whether I've gone up in trophies since the last video, but I'm pretty sure that I have. Um, but I've definitely leveled up a bit. I'm now level 5, which is um, quite a mid-range level, although I'm going to push it up to level 6, hopefully. Um, and this is the deck I've been playing with recently. It's been quite successful, but I have had a few defeats with it. That's with a different deck, that one just in the middle there. Um, but I have had two, three defeats with it, but I had several victories with it before. And uh, we are going to jump straight into the first one of these now. So, hopefully it loads. Barbarian Bowl. So I'm going to speed it up a bit because watching it. So um, what I've got is I've got a spawner to do the early game. And Valkyrie uh, to begin with. Which absolutely shreks because um, in the recent update it has been up increased in damage. And as you can see there I let my first tower just go. And it seems to be lagging out for me. But you guys. And so I let my first tower go. And I've pushed up on the right. And managed to get down the, their first one of their towers down to 45, um, and it looks to be as if they are making huge progress. But I've got their tower right down to 10, which is very close. And this one spear golem should be enough to take it out. There we are. And as we saw when we started the video, it was a 3-1 uh, victory for me. And they're desperately trying to push with their balloon. And taken my tower out to 964, but I am slowly making progress, and they keep on shutting down every single push until this one, in which I manage to get my prince to the tower and to smash it. And they're still trying with their balloon, which I keep on shutting down, and I get three barbarians off the tower, which is enough to take it. And they kept on pushing, but when you play with these games, you need to realise that playing slow, and even if you're down, you still have a good chance of winning if you play it safe, like I did. So, I risked my crown tower for the victory, and let's press OK. So, we are going to jump into the next one, which is this one. I've swapped out the Valkyrie for the Mini Pekka, which I've just upgraded to level 3. And we'll speed it up again. Uh, this person seems to be kind of sure of their win. They've said good luck. And we start with a Musketeer in the back this time. Um, Barbarian's up the front. And I think we managed to get a bit of damage onto the tower. Yes, we do. In fact, we take it out on our first push, which is pretty good for me. Because... I normally don't get a um, tower until at least halfway through the game, as we saw with the last attack. Um, but here, you see they put the prince down, and great counter for the prince is the skeleton army because it has because the prince can only it doesn't do splash damage, and they can do there's a lot of them. So by the time that he can, and if he charges, he only takes out one of them. And there's still loads left, and I've almost completely ignored these barbarians, just put a spear golden hut down, which is another good counter for barbarians if they're quite far away away because the spear golden is a ranged troop. And there you go, I am countered the prince with my skeleton army and the mini pecker because they both do high damage but can only target once at a time. And we get a massive push on just here, but with um which almost takes their tower. But if my screen stopped playing out. Uh, as you can see, they're just going to ignore Prince because he's not going to do that much damage. But we managed to take it out just with a Musketeer, which is a very good troop, and some Spear Goblins. So, yeah, okay. Oh, frozen. There we are. And I think we're going to jump into a loss. Where's a loss with a strategy? Here is a loss with a strategy. The problem with this is that you either win. Or you lose horrendously. So we're going to go into that one just there. And we're going to speed it up because don't want to bore you guys. So he starts off with a push straight away. 
but that minion, or that, those three minions with the giant is bad because it means my skeleton army gets taken out really quickly and he, with him, his goblin barrel, he has just smashed through my first tower and I can't do anything to stop him and it seems like he's getting elixir out of nowhere. So we're already way behind and those that minion horde there is going to annihilate everything and take my tower down to 338 and I've countered the goblin barrel with the skeleton army the skeleton army great counter for anything that's not splash damage and he is a very persistent guy he goes with the same strategy every time and I think and I don't quite get to take his tower out there because of his quick barbarians and 60 seconds left and it's not looking good and then I counter the goblin barrel with the same thing as last time, skeleton army. And he keeps on pushing with his prince and his knight and his minions. And then he takes me out on this. Real annoying, but you get it sometimes. Okay. And we're going to jump into a final attack against a dirty expo user, which is just here. You see just there. He, has, he uses the expo, which leads to his demise, to say the least. So, I'm going to go through this one quickly because nothing really interesting happens till the end. So, he starts off, he goes with the balloon, which isn't very good if you've got the musketeer or the skeleton spawn, the spear goblin spawner. So, get a bit of damage off first way, first of all, get his tower down quickly and get a good amount of damage onto his crown tower and he uses the expo and that was a bit too quick so we're going to go back through again where did it go watch should have slowed down there too preoccupied so he uses the expo to try and take down one of my towers but forgets about the massive massive troops that i have on his crown tower because he has over under overestimated the speed of the expo because the expo I think is crap so here we are slow down so I have my prince up there and he put the expo down to six elixir which means he doesn't have enough elixir to counter my prince and skeleton bomber so we get a nice good win off on that okay and I've been experimenting with some other decks, as you can see there. Not really that good, but this is my favourite deck. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and thank you. Bye-bye.